As we hear from Teride Shot, one local doctor has made it her mission to get residents to be okay with admitting that they are having mental health issues. Issues, she said, long have, have long ex existed on the island. Today, I want to share with you my top 10 takeaways. For Dr. Tiffany Keenan, a local family physician who practices personalized lifestyle medicine, the coronavirus pandemic has only served to agitate mental illness that previously existed just beneath the surface. You know, for any of those that had little bits of anxiety or depression before, it's kind of heightened that inability that we have to control things because we cannot control corona, right? We cannot control COVID. What do I eat when I'm home at lockdown? You know, it's been kind of mocked and joked that COVID. You might have come across Dr. Keenan's weekly videos offering tips to maintain wellness during the pandemic. She places lots of emphasis on giving her patients and followers tools to enable them to put life into perspective, no matter their environment. And my first tool I get them is just to pay attention. And literally, it's to be mindful just what is going on, what is the truth that they know. And I try to get them to focus on um, what is happening in their lives, what is happening in their surroundings. If the objective is not to overwhelm the healthcare system. Premier David Byrne has repeatedly acknowledged that residents may have issues surrounding their mental health during the crisis and has encouraged residents during his weekly televised updates to consider calling a special hotline on 543-1111 to access a qualified and experienced mental health professional or to simply talk to someone if needed. For Dr. Keenan, the mental health issue is very personal. You're very open about your personal story and that you battled personal anxiety. How were you able to deal with it and overcome it? So for me as a physician, you know, we kind of live in a hush-hush world that we don't want to talk about mental illness. But in 2012, I went through a burnout. And uh, it was a time in my life that was very low. You know, we have those dark days. And for me... Um, Admitting it and becoming aware that what I was feeling in my body was anxiety was the first statement. So admitting it was number one. Then the next thing that I did is I started getting help. So I asked a friend of mine, it was a colleague, another doctor who had gone through burnout. And he told me, he said, Tiffany, think about um, meditation or mindfulness. Another thing she found helpful to manage anxiety was keeping a journal to write down a to-do list. Another thing you might notice about Dr. Keenan's weekly Facebook updates is that most are recorded while outside. For good reason, she says. What can nature in particular teach us about times like these? Well, we look at the planet. We live in a cyclical planet. We have seasons, we have day and night. And when we look at that, we know, we learn about the impermanence of life. And what I just mean by that is things come and go. So the times will change. The leaves will, the, the flowers will bloom and then they'll die off. To learn more about Dr. Keenan, visit her Facebook page and YouTube channel under Dr. Tiffany Keenan. Tarai Trot reporting for Bermuda Broadcasting News.